Let us come in there, guys. Cantering down there. We do. Take you, you home? Yes, I do. Hey, mouse. Give him hey, mouse. Give him a mouse. Myself. So, guys, this video is a video that I've done really mainly because a lot of people are messaging to see how uh, Duke, the Duke is doing. Uh, was called Mouse when we got him, but we renamed him the Duke. A lot of people are asking, how's he getting on? We don't hear much about him. And there's another reason why I've got to do this video as well, or why, I, why I'd like to do this video. Uh, so yeah, that's what this, this main video is about, how he's doing. He had a big test the other day with Charlotte taking him out. Uh, I've got that, doc um, I've blogged that as well. So very interesting video. Now, I'll go right back from uh, the beginning uh, as to why we've got him. Uh, we've had him, I think, now about nine months we've had him. Only been riding him for about six months because of the problems we had to kind of work with before I thought about breaking him to ride or starting him to ride. So I'll head back in time, probably about a year and a quarter, something like that. Uh, we were setting up the subscription channel and I wanted a horse with some issues. To like blog and show people what how I deal with the issues of a horse, and we came across a horse called Mac. We have his Mac and Charlotte. Let's put this one on there. Uh, and I started the Return of the Mac series. I had a few on the main site, and then the subscription site. We were doing lots and lots and lots of different things, showing you know um, how uh, more in in depth how I was getting Mac over his his problems and he had quite a severe problem of panicking out the trailer. Myself. So I worked very, very hard on it and I managed to get there, guys. Managed to get him really good about the trailer, really good about a few other things that, were, that weren't too great. And he became, or was becoming, one of my best horses. He was riding lovely. Get him soft there. I'm going to try and push him into impulsion with softness. So I've got my softness. There. Now I've let him go because he gave me that... There. Now, I, that was lovely, so I sat down there. Got to keep his impulsion going a little bit here. So, I'm going to do... And on top of that, which is really important, he got the nicest soul in the world. He was such... He... he, he oh, honestly, again, he, he, was, he was bullied by the other horses. Uh, a little bit like Duke is, uh, very subservient to horses, but beautiful with people. So all was going well. Oh! <laughs> and then a big bombshell hit and as with a lot of greys, he, he, we found some, some melanomas, had it checked out and it had gone internally and it was just too bad. And it was also in his sheath, right up uh, in his sheath and that was dreadful. So it has, it was, an, you know, it had to be done. So we had him put down and he is buried here on the farm. 
uh, on the ranch and he, we think about him often. So that's uh, when we got kind of got over that, we started looking for another horse because I was having quite a bit of pressure from as the subscription site was going up in numbers, people were asking for a horse for me to start. A lot of people starting horses and just wanted some of my tips how to start horses to add to what they know. So that's when I started looking. Now horses back like nine, 10 months ago, I think they're coming down slightly now, but they were like so hard to get hold of. They were doubled in value. So I was looking around desperately for a horse and was having trouble finding one that was unbroken, uh, that was ready to break. You know, you'd have to buy a yearling or maybe a two year old, but so up popped the Duke. Do you like Mo? Yes, I do. Give him a hey, Mouse. Give him Who was called Mickey Mouse, Mouse. And uh, I remember speaking to the lovely owner of the horse uh, about him. And I did actually kind of know the owner, a very good trainer in her own right. And she said, Steve, just buy the horse. What had happened was he'd gone to be broke uh, and he was about four or five months at a trainer's and some work was done with him, but he was very nervous about getting on. They didn't actually get to ride him. And with the trainer being busy, other things in her life, it kind of, she didn't have the time. So. there was work to do I uh, took him on it was a quite a long journey and you'll see me meet him for the first time now no, same here of course you went to your horse didn't you Thursday. yeah we had a demo and it's uh... sold out so we've had a little look at him uh, do you know what? I just brought him out cold then and lunged him around and he he was all right, wasn't he? You know, he disunited a few times, but I think that's because he was excited. He's, you know, I think he's all right. Do you, Tom? Yeah, I do. You know, I like yeah, him. He's quite nice. I like him. You know, it's quite quiet. It seems quite quiet. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently he can be a little bit um, nervous if you... I mean, they haven't got on him, um, but... I think they lay lay over him, she said, didn't she? And and he's a bit nervous. So that that uh, you know, I'll start him from scratch. Yeah. Uh, start him from scratch, and uh, as if he's not even had us a single on really. So that's what we'll do, won't we, mate? Eh? Won't we? So Thank you get you home. Thank you, you like him, Tan? Yes, I do. Give him a hey, go. Mouse. Give him hey, a mouse. go. Hey, mouse. Give him a go. Right then. So yeah, we're going to get him loaded up now. Come on then. And, uh, do you want me to video him loading him up? Yeah, we could do. Yeah. Give him a mouse. <laughs> and again, he got that lovely way about him, and we 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 had him, and it was he was perfect because he was nervous about people getting above him. We couldn't stand on a gate or a, a mountain block without him getting a little very upset. So I had to really go slowly. Uh, blogged it for the site. We put a couple of uh, updates on the main. Uh, Stephen Corsmanship channel and that's it that's where we are today I've, I've got him riding well for me we're six months into the riding on and off because I do go out such a lot of places and stay away a lot so I haven't done as much with him as I wanted but what I've done has been quality power of the whistle as she comes past Galloping, whether the Duke follows, whether she fo he follows her or stays. The grass and me. So there's her going past here, and here he is. Is he going to go past or is he going to stay with me? Guys, wow. He stayed with me. 
This is downhill country. No, it's galloping. Downhill. That was great fun, guys. That... And he's going nice for me. He's not. He he. He's in a different world really now to what he was. Great, great horse, nice size. Now, there was a big test came the other day when Molly, uh, Charlotte goes on these fun rides often. It's a little break, a release from everything, and it means a lot to her. And Dan Fairplay has the kids, or we do, so Charlotte can go on these fun rides, and she really does enjoy them. Uh, she's quite a wild thing, Charlotte is, with horses, as you know, but, you know... Hope to God she stays safe, and uh, uh, but she really gets a kick out of it. And she's got like a wild bunch that she goes with. Give me away! <laughs> uh, and they all have a hoot, to be honest. Well, Molly was lame. She had an abscess uh, and, and twisted a shoe as well. And she couldn't go and she was really upset. And she said, well... You can't take Nita on a fast ride like that because of her injury. We're really careful with her. So, uh, the Charlie came up with the brain box idea. I'll take Duke. Now, Duke hasn't been to anything like kind of fun rides. We're talking 80 horses, uh, quite a long fun ride uh, through open fields and all that. Well, uh, I said, OK, Charlotte, but I'll come with you and make sure everything's all right the best I can. Um, yeah. I mean, uh, there's a saying that I remember Ray Hunt saying, go as slowly as you can with a horse, but never hold them back. And it, it's kind of, it was one of those things where you don't want to, but you do. So I said, right, okay, well, let's do it. And that's what this video is about. I've, I've uh, blogged it, what I could of the ride, and Charlotte's done it from, from her phone. I've clipped it all together. Uh, see how we got on. We'll see how Charlotte got on, and then see how the Duke got on. And uh, yeah, I'll start the video now. Um, like I say, it is a big test. And I hope he makes me proud. I know Charlotte does. So let's see how we got on with the, the Duke and his big test. Let's go. Uh, good morning, guys. We are off today. Charlotte is riding, I'm not. Uh, on one of Charlotte's fun rides. Now, what I try to do most of the time is what's called all the peas. Try and get all the peas in there. As I get older, I try and work out what all the P's are before I start a job. So prior proper, prior proper preparation prevents, I won't say it, something poor performance. So basically today, Charlotte's going on a fun ride. It's been booked for a while. She loves her fun rides. And uh, unfortunately, Molly there, there's Molly. Molly there has twisted a shoe uh, Charlotte was in those woods over there having one of her, well, not, let's say it wasn't a sedate ride, more than likely. Is that right, Charlotte? You are? Yeah. It wasn't a sedate ride, I guess, when you lost a shoe. Oh, well, I just jumped over those, <laughs> jumped in the woods. All oh, right, OK. Yeah. Well, she twisted her shoe uh, and it's made her a bit foot sore, so she can't, Charlotte can't go. Now, Charlotte came up with a cunning plan to take the Duke. No. Paid. Mm? You've paid, paid. paid for the fun ride. Right. Well, I personally don't know really if the Duke's ready for this. He's not been on a fun ride. He's not, he's not even travelled in this. Our lorry's gone off to have the brakes done and a few bits and pieces. So have we, have we done all the P's? No, we haven't. We 100% haven't done the, all the P's today. But very often, that's just life. You have to get on with it. I've sort of gone along with the decision to give it a go. I, I'll be there, I'll take Charlotte in the trailer because Charlotte doesn't want um, to tow, the, tow this trailer for the first time with the horses, which, yeah, I accept that. So I'm going, and I think I should go anyway, to check on, you know, just to make sure that everything's okay. So that's basically what's happening. Duke's going on his first fun, uh, fun ride with Charlotte. I don't know how fast the group is you're going to be going with, I'm Charlotte. I'm not going with my normal crazy friends. You're not? Not, not the crazy, crazy ones. With the eight-year-old that leads us. Right, okay then. So, a more sedate bunch then? Yeah. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> that's good to know. So, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do a few clips of how it all goes. Um, I actually secretly think it's going to be fine. Um, as I wouldn't be saying yes. To Charlotte, she can't hear this, but I, I'm there to help. Will it do Duke some good? I think it will. He'll be in a group and he'll 
hopefully settle well. Oh, guess what? I can hear the show from across. I can hear the show. Yeah, I can too. There's a big horse show across across that field there. It's a there. Final. You... Oh, right, really? Oh, maybe we could pop down there, maybe. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, all right then. So we've got to get cracking now, see how it all goes. So we're about to load up now. Got my, uh... The O. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we won't say O something strap. Uh, right, OK. Strap. So we're ready now. I've noticed Charlotte's done something she shouldn't have done. Just, just don't bring them in yet, Charlotte. Charlotte's put the carrots that we got there on the floor. Yes, she's took the clip Why out. Him? Yes, but if he puts his head down then we're in a wreck so i'm gonna i'm gonna put bring that in in a second charlotte i'll move it okay so i'm gonna watch charlotte now he's not been in this trailer but he does trust us quite a bit let's see how this turns out good boy a couple of feet in yeah i'll give you this have this high you've got the jockey door there if you need to get out so i'll be careful now with the dookie boy. Tell him how good he is. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. He doesn't want a carrot. Mm? Oh yeah, no. Is he having a oh, carrot? he's having one now, yeah. Well, that's a good sign. Now what I'm gonna do now, is up and down with the door. So I'll come up a bit, down a bit, up a bit, down a bit. So it's not a sudden, a sudden thing for him. All right, Charlotte? Yeah, just put it up now. Yeah, okay, Charlotte. Did you hear that? Just put it up, Dad. Come on, go on with it. So we're using one of our clips, so. Trying to make sure he's got enough room. Yeah, he's got to be able to reach. We've got two hay nets in there so he can choose. One is uh, steamed hay, and one is some nice haylage there for the sweet smelling. Are you clips in? Yeah. You can reach both of those? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Okay. So that's it then, so we won't hang around now. Oh, I need to get my hat. Yeah. And then all's good. We'll go very steady now. How far is it, Charlotte? I think it's about half an hour. What? Okay, so a couple of minutes in. Well, all's quiet on the Western Front. So yeah, he seems to be traveling well. I'm noticing the hay net moving. So well, he's it, having a little we, chomp. The thing um, I like about the lorry is that we can actually see them. Yeah, I could do with, if we're gonna use that trailer much, because we are having a tow bar fitted to the lorry so that we can pull an extra horse behind if need be, yeah? yeah. Uh, so it would be nice to have, uh, I think they're doing Bluetooth now. They're Bluetooth shot. So you haven't got to have any wires, it'll just click on and it'll Bluetooth to it. Yeah. So yeah, all's good at the moment. I'm really pleased, are you? Yeah. Looking forward to it? Yeah. And today, even though I've got him in a brown saddle pad, because I'm using the new Equitex, which is my new fancy numner saddle pad, but I'm in blue. I think Duke will look lovely in blue. <laughs> I don't care what colours he's in, as long as it's all right. He'll be fine. I've got, yeah, as I said, I've got my old crap strap. You've told people he's only been, well, he, he's been ridden about six months on and off, hasn't he? Tell people that. Oh, no, but there'll be ones there that have been ridden less. It'll be fine. Sunday today, so oh. a bit quiet around here. Our, our amazing town. Um, where's the mall, Sean? <laughs> no mall. <laughs> no mall. No mall. <laughs> It'll be fine, like you always say. Dad, see ya. So it would have looked, nice, nice Charlotte, hundreds of years ago. The little milk, milk churns outside and the horses and the carts. Maybe not that white. Eh? Maybe not that white. Well, maybe they were. Nice. And then we're going down here for 1.1 miles. Just park up here, I think. Whereabouts? Yeah, I think, oh, I don't know. So, We're not in a lorry. No, you're... Yeah. There he is. We've got here. We've got here. Looks like there's quite a few people here, guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, you got your tail thing on, Shah? I know, I'm really walking around. Okay. Very chilled, guys. Please with that. I don't know how those guys got so straight here. Because my, I've just tried to get that straight, I can't. Guys, it's 10 o'clock and they're, they're all having the port. Look. <laughs> well, Charlotte's friend, Lucy, giving us the wave. I don't actually know where that works. Oh, it's a Ford Ranger, that one. There we go, Eiffel Williams. I always say about Eiffel Williams, guys, it's the most popular trailer in the UK. I'm not saying it's the best, although I, I think they're good. So there's mine, and Eiffel Williams, and Eiffel Williams, and Eiffel Williams, slightly older Eiffel Williams. Another Eiffel Williams. Oh my life, guys, this is crazy. Eiffel Williams, Eiffel Williams, Eiffel Williams. <laughs> Eiffel Williams, Eiffel Williams. Oh, and then a beautiful box there. But at today's fuel figures, eight to the gallon. Can't be doing that. There's one behind, is there? That's an Eiffel Williams. Maybe it's just a car. Oh, and surprise, surprise. It's an Eiffel Williams. So yeah, they are popular boxes here. And they keep their value, that's the, that's the thing you've got, yeah. Special stirrup, Charlotte? Special stirrups? I new stirrups. Bloody got old fashioned, horrible, bloody coarse old. Have you seen the way these work? Are they the ones that are magnetic? Um, They're magnetic. magnetic. To your toes, yeah. I need as much help as I can get. <laughs> I, want, I, want, I need the... Raring to go. Uh, right, um, really like saying hi? Are you ready? Uh, We're ready. I'll walk with you a bit, Char. Okay. We might have to go in there to uh, take our name off. Oh, okay. He's not the bravest soul. This is Dad's cowboy horse. Well, <laughs> First time out on his own. Oh, loads coming out, guys. Oh, they're everywhere. People are everywhere. Horses everywhere. Hello, Kim. You all right? Oh yes. You'll see. You'll see. Put it by the car. In case I forget. Or I'll get it in a bit. Don't worry. There's. Uh, well, this horse is big enough for me to get on the back of. Hey, hop on. Hey. Hop on. Horse is everywhere, Charlotte. Look at this fella. Look at this. Hiya, you all right? Hiya. 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 Good boy. Hiya. Let this big green go off. Yeah. Handling that great, all those horses not rushing. <sighs> There's the big group in front of us Lucy and actress. Hi. Lucy's helping me out, Dad's walking behind, <laughs> limping behind. Uh, 16 hands, I think. Yours is 16 hands yeah, but like a bit. because they're not far off each other. There, I think. I think he's about 15 3, Sha. Yeah. For any. I'm having trouble keeping up now, guys. We've been about a mile and a half. I just wanted to see her go off into the fields, make sure everything's okay. So, 16 hands, yeah, definitely a bit bigger. He's about 15 3, then, isn't he? 15 2. But he's very low with it. Maybe if he had a high with her. Yeah. But he's, 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 he's the way he's with her is. It's quite thin here with the shape to it. 
So with a Western saddle on, yeah, better. You can yeah. it'll lock in for roping. If you've got your rope here and you've got a cow, it will slide. Yours is a little bit flatter, but it's still it's okay. Do you understand what I mean by that? Mm. If you rope, if the if the cow came to the side, it would flip off. So you couldn't you couldn't rope off cobs with flat backs. Oh, table backs. Yes. Rolling so is this where you're heading then? Yeah. Yeah. Gallop down there. There you go then. <laughs> All right, go, look at this field, guys. What an opportunity on these fun rides. Yeah, I trot off down there and just say, uh, while I'm here, move him out a bit. You can try, actually. There you go, the girls. And there they are, look. Oh, I like what they've done there. They cut this strip, look. They cut this, oh look, they're off cantering down there, cantering down there, the Duke, brilliant. Oh my God, guys, this is brilliant, look at the size of these fields, whoa. Oh, and there's the refinery plant I talked about earlier. The crew comes in there and it's refined there, and yet we're still paying those ridiculous prices. So guys, there they are, I don't know if you can see them, they've cantered all the way down there, she's now at a walk. Every, this is as much as I can do, isn't it? I've come, make sure everything's as good as I can make it, as checked as I can make it, and I'll head back now to the car. I can't walk no further. So I've turned around and I'm on my way back now. Ooh. Ooh. Um, he, he hasn't jumped much. I mean, I've just walked. We'll track him over a couple of logs when we've been out. Nothing fancy, Dan. And who knows? You know, there's apparently some deep ditches. You know, he's been really steady the way I've done little ditches with him. Apparently there's some big ditches, so we'll see how that goes. So yeah, a lot of unknowns to come. I'll be really interested. I'll be busy enough in the car now. I've got some water. I'll wait, uh, you know, I think it's about an hour and a half I go for, something like that. Oh, made it back, guys. Just got a walk. Okay, so, made it back. Let's spin this around. I don't know if you're... See me, hi. I'm gonna have a sit down now in the truck. There's more lorries down there, but look, another eye for Williams. Now I had, ah, look what's turned up. Oh, look, I'd lent to uh, someone Charlotte knows, uh, Western Saddles to try. It's only a cheap, cheap type. She just wanted to see how it felt, and some girls, and they're back here. That's wonderful. I well, guys, I've got back and I just noticed over here for anybody that's on this ride or anyone grooms or anyone who brings anybody, there's all tea and coffee and all a load of cakes there. I've got to watch myself with the cakes, but uh, yeah, so I'll just sit pretty now and uh, wait for them to come back. What I have noticed uh, it's very old farm buildings. I mean, there's modern here as well as the old, and then down there. Look at those pillars and that roof. It's amazing. I don't think I'll be going anywhere soon, mate. And then. Okay, so we've probably gone about two miles loose. Dad will be happy that I'm riding on the buckle. Actress, it's all been all road work so far, hasn't it, really? So we're thinking there's going to be lots of fields and cantering soon on the lookout for the yellow arrows, which is our directions. Isn't it Duke? Happy chilling, happy chilling. And I was a little bit shocked earlier when Luce told me actress was 20. How good does she look? There we go, good boy. Oh, got a little arrow there. Oh, should we go up there Duke? One-handed, there you go dad. On the buckle, happy, happy. Ears leading out through the trees. Oh, good lad. So I couldn't leave it any longer. I've just spoke to Charlotte now. Uh, wish I could have recorded the call really, but no, she said, Dad, he's absolutely brilliant. Uh, Lucy who's riding with her is, I've just said, you're the glue, Lucy. So she's keeping it all, you know, as Charlotte wants it, but yeah. It absolutely going great, like on the buckle, she said, I'm on the buckle, just cantered everywhere. And uh, Lucy said, well, have you got brakes? And Charlotte oh, yeah, said, okay. 
said she just dropped the lead rope, the, the reins onto his neck and said, easy, and he just comes straight down to a wall. So yeah, all good so far. Let's just keep our fingers. Big house. Good lad. Tree! <laughs> and we're in a road there. So easy. Oh that was a bit that was a bit too that was a dad stop that was good boy. Just they just keep coming. Just been told there's about 70 people on this ride now. 70 people sound up. Oh like an idiot, guess what I forgot? Yeah, my Ariat, my Ariat, little top. So those guys are Icelandics. Icelandics there, just going out. There you go, and they do what's called the tolt. They do a tolt, it's a tolt gate. See them? Good boy. Good We're holding and riding one-handed. Good boy. And downhill. Oh, we're turning. And easy. Good boy. What a good job. Oh doggies, never track. Okay, Duke? Whoa. Do you think that's a bear, Duke? That's not a bear. Oh, it's a little bit undercover. Good boy. Tree loose. Oh, bash! Oh. Tires! Whoop! Oh. Whoop! <laughs> Good boy! Oh, we're cantering! One handed! Good boy. Good lad. There's a little arrow. We're going the right way. Oh, we've got a little bog here. I might put my phone away in case I need my old crap strap. But there is horses and jumps galloping up there. You can definitely see a grey. There we go. Oh, yeah. Part part of a big part of a big group. Now part of a big group. Well, Charlotte's first little jump on the Duke. Uh, we should got that on film, but uh, there's the evidence there. Oh, you've always got a spare now. <laughs> Is it free for the groom? Of course. You mentioned, yeah, because you mentioned the fun ride for the chauffeur. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tip the head towards you, Shah. There you go. Oh, with quality. I see her. There she is. She's coming. Two plates. She might have got me something. Yeah. Went well then, Charlotte. Oh, what you got there then? Just a bit of a food. Mm. Oh, wow. Friendly, aren't they? Hmm? Uh, I lost my roll. 
Thanks, <laughs> I think I've earned it, don't you? <laughs> everyone's uh, friendly, aren't they? Oh, yeah, everyone's really nice. Yeah. How did he do then on his first? He was so good. Really good. Ready? <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> oh, we're we back safe and sound, guys. What are you doing, Charles? Let's see if Duke wants his cake. The cake? Where'd you get that from? <laughs> I got it from today. Really? And do the clip. Safety clip, guys, every time. Watch it, Char. Lovely job. You're going to give him a nice wash off, Char? Yeah, I'm going to hope he's in my <laughs> is that nice? Well done, kiddo. Oh, is that nice? I can't, I can't remember the name of these. Oh, that one's... Um, there's a saddle behind there. Not there. These are two, horse, uh, two horses here for four days with their lovely owners, Liv, uh, Liz and Leslie. Leslie. Uh, what a beautiful horse this one is, that. Um, and we've been doing lots of learning. Lots of learning. Today is Sunday, the girls go home tomorrow. But they've had a lovely break. A little bit of learning in between. So good. There you go. Brilliant. Good job done. So when we say that they don't like the horse flies, because that is what they yeah. do to them. There was more and up here as well. We've just washed his chest. They really get them, don't they boy? Nasty flies. <laughs> so we've popped down, just just had some lunch, and we've just popped down. We could hear the loudspeaker going, and we've popped down, and there's a, a pony club, kids kids riding um, show, and uh, Charlotte's friends here. And as we've just pulled up, here they are. As we just pulled up, they said, "Be quick, because she's going in the ring now." I don't know what for. I don't know what class. But uh, what class? No, no lead ring. Okay. What class is this? Uh, the jump off. The jump off. Ah. Oh, Charlotte. Charlotte. We got here just in time. Charlotte. So she's only decided now she wanted to try my cross country. It's only because Molly's uh, still got an abscess on her foot. But uh, I said, yeah, okay, you want to do it? I'm here to make sure everything's all right. He did actually travel with another horse. Is Jane. Little Charlotte's on. No dramas. I'm quite pleased with that. Big field. And I think she's going to walk around all the jumps in a bit. She won't be actually jumping much. So Charlotte's just come in the field for the first time. We'd be wondering what all of these jumps are. Very interesting for him. Very tell us a lot about him actually. Good <laughs> <laughs> Now, 
couple of one rain stops there just checking that's a good show Let him have a rub here now. <laughs> Yay! Long range, Shaw. Oh. Good boy. Yay! Wee! Good boy! <laughs> I thought he was going to leap it or something then. Like that. That's good. good that he just got the foot in there, so he might. Uh, Yay, that was better. <laughs> come on, girls. Come on, come on. Oh, and again, Shah, so he picks his foot up. Yay. Yes. Good. Wee, wee. <laughs> Brilliant. Wee! Wee! Brilliant. Little rub, one rein, touch his neck. I didn't expect him to jump in. Wee! Wow, <clears throat> there's the spook, wasn't it? I've had that so often uh, with horses. And you wonder, you wonder where the spooks come from and it's so instant. And I explained on a previous video that a horse has no, has no say in that spook. It's an innate response. They don't think the same as humans. That's what's kept them alive. He had no choice. That was an innate reaction. Just like we have, if we tap our knee, it comes out like that. They, they, they don't have the same, there's no thought about it. They just have to react immediately. Now, a lot of the time you, you can't actually see what some, a horse has spoke at, but if you look closely, just behind Charlotte's right at the back, a horse jumps over a brush fence and there was quite a loud noise as the, as, as, as the rider went over it. So he caught that, remember it's 360 degree vision for a horse, he caught that the noise and the movement and he just it's his innate response spooked unfortunately charlotte fair play stayed on and and she did stop with one rain which um you know we bang on about that enough one rain stop uh did it upset him it did for a couple of minutes he was a little bit airy fairy and then charlotte got straight back on got on with it uh, so yeah you have got to always even though you know duke looks very quiet with everything like any other horse you know, it's only, you've got to still remember he's still a youngster, done not a lot. I mean, it takes, there's a saying, uh, good horses are made in years, not in a few weeks breaking them. So it's a big, long process uh, to get them really what people call broke or, well, you know, uh, 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 more at peace with the world. So, okay, so that, I just wanted to say that he had no, he had no choice in that. Uh, if he saw that rider go over that brush, 50 times, if you kept him there and they kept doing it, that then in his mind would become not as big a threat. So he wouldn't have the innate response to have to flee. And that's called desensitizing to, to a picture in his mind that was potentially a real threat. That could have been a bear or a tiger, whatever it is in their innate history. So yeah, that's a good thing to explain. Come back up, Shah. So that's pretty much 
where the Duke's at, how that all went. I was chuffed to bits, so was Charlotte. I mean, you couldn't wish for more with the young horse on his first big outing like that. Now there's a saying that always sticks with me um, and I've, I've thought about it a lot and it's a real true saying that the greatest gift you can give any horse, an unbroken horse or even a horse that's broke, the greatest gift you can give that horse is to train it well, to give it good cues, to make it accept people and to live in our world the best it can uh, and not be dangerous. Now a horse like that, if you can give a horse that gift, that horse is set up, that horse is set up in the main for life, will be cherished. A good horse like that rarely go anywhere and that's the best gift you can give them. Now, we give us that gift as, to as many as we can. I mean, recently uh, we had a horse called Cody. Uh, he was a troubled horse. He had Cody. We've got him a fantastic home now. Uh, he went. We had Rolex. Again, not the easiest horse to start. He's got an amazing owner now. He's doted on. He's doing fantastic. I actually saw him not long ago and, and sat on him. Um, we had Mac well, he, recently. Well, that didn't work out too well, as you know from this video. But while he was here, he, he, he was great. Uh, we had Ola as well, which we uh, brought back into work, got going really well. And he's loved to bits by a, a lovely chap as well. Hey, the horse. Hey. So, you know, you can see, you know, the gift. We try to give these horses to set them up. But fortunately, we can't, to be able to give that gift to horses, and to do what we do, we can't keep keep all the horses. Now, something's come up. Uh, it's next uh, week, a week Sunday, me and Charlotte go to the Isle of Wight. And we're going, it's not to rescue a horse. Maybe in some ways it is. It's a very, very sad story. Uh, we get, we've been gifted a horse. Uh, that, that, you know, we've been given the horse, but we have got to go to the Isle of Wight to get this horse. It's a beautiful horse. Uh, it's unbroken and that's the gift we're going to give this horse it's a very sad story the uh, the owner unfortunately she's not very old probably won't be riding ever again I uh, hope to God she can but she's quite ill and she knows oh, she she wants us to take the horse on so we'll be blogging that uh, trip and showing you that horse and then that that horse then becomes my uh, my next project to help out it's, I've got to break the horse it, it will have all the uh, blogs on my subscription site. We will put some on this main site uh, to keep you, in, you know, informed how she goes. We have got, I think, six acres here. Um, we've got little Darcy here. We've got my heart horse, which is Nita. She's here. She does the little demo. She packs mail around. We've got Molly as well. We've only really got a spot for one more, so we wouldn't be able to take this horse if we keep keep the Duke. Now, I know some people will say, oh, how could you sell Duke? But that's what I've just explained. We give them this gift uh, and, and, and then we move them. Now, it'll be whoever we decide to have him. I'm sure it, it'll work out great. You know, we want someone fairly experienced, really, because you remember, he's still a youngster. But what a great horse and a great opportunity for somebody. Uh, maybe message if you're interested. It probably will be about a month more riding for the Duke and then... And there will be a tear shared by everyone here, but that allows us to continue and help other horses. So that's the end of this video. Guys, um, yeah, I've got...
very, very, very difficult horse to come in on Monday. Um, I very rarely take horses in here, but this one is, very, is really in need, and we're gonna blog that one. There'll be a video on the main site next week, hopefully with it. How about that? Okay, oh, okay, 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 so yeah. Okay. No, no, I can't hold it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It's um, one that, very dangerous with its feet. It's only a two year old, it's now 16 to. It's had problems with its knee and its foot throughout its life really, only a short two years and now it, it, even sedation won't do it. So we're gonna really give that a good go to try and help this horse out. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I say, if you are interested in the Duke as maybe a potential horse and partner for yourself, let us know and again, like and share and comment on this that'd be fantastic until the next time guys so happy trails and see you soon again <laughs>